women 6.10 eh, Dalam eksperimen 6.10 ni Kita nak buat dua ujian sekaligus okay, Kesemua Ket ion yang ada Iaitu calcium nitrate Magnesium nitrate Aluminium nitrate Zinc nitrate Iron 2 nitrate Iron 3 chloride Lead 2 nitrate Copper 2 sulfate Dan ammonium nitrate Kesemuanya kita akan jalankan Tindak balas Menggunakan dua reagent Yang pertama kita gunakan sodium hydroxide Solution Dan yang kedua kita gunakan Ammonia solution okay. Jadi sodium hydroxide dan ammonia Kedua-duanya keperkatannya 2 mol per dm3 okay, Yang pertama kita ambil calcium nitrate Mewakili cat ion calcium ion And then add into the test tube About 2 cm3 Okay <coughs> and then pour a few drop. Make sure only one drop pour into the calcium ion. Okay, one drop. And then stir. Okay, the result is the observation white precipitate is formed. And then after white precipitate is formed, you need to add more sodium hydroxide or add sodium hydroxide until it excess okay. dan kamu dapat lihat jika kamu tambah berlebihan sodium hydroxide masih ada white precipitate that means white precipitate not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide for about 2 cm cube of calcium ion or calcium 2 nitrate Solution And then <coughs> okay, Pour a few drop of ammonia Into the calcium to ion Okay See No precipitate Or no changes Magnesium nitrate okay, Magnesium nitrate <coughs> Pour about 2 cm cube of magnesium nitrate In the test tube <coughs> And then add a few drop of sodium hydroxide Okay the observation is white precipitate is formed and then <coughs> you add excess sodium hydroxide and then you stir or shake So, <coughs> white precipitate, precipitate not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. Still have white precipitate. Is <coughs> using ammonia aqueous. Okay, same like sodium hydroxide. You pour a few drop of ammonia. To the magnesium ion see why precipitate is formed and then <coughs> you add more until excess more sodium hydroxide put into the <coughs> mixture and then you stir and then you see still white precipitate have so the conclusion is white precipitate not dissolve in excess ammonia Aluminium nitrate solution <coughs> In aluminium nitrate solution containing aluminium ion And then pour the aluminium ion into the test tube About 2 cm cube <coughs> And then add a few drop of sodium hydroxide Okay And then stir <coughs> See White precipitate is formed 
and then you add more so the side until excess okay. and then stir or shake see the white precipitate of mixture white precipitate dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide to form colorless solution okay okay aluminium ion <coughs> can ion aluminium ion containing in aluminium nitrate aluminium nitrate contain aluminium ion okay pour in 2 cm about 2 cm cube into the test tube and then <coughs> Add second reagent ammonia. Add a few drop of ammonia. White precipitate is formed when you add a few drop of ammonia into the aluminium ion, and then you add until excess. white precipitate not dissolve in excess ammonia containing okay, ion zinc ion okay you pour to about 2 cm cube of zinc ion into the test tube okay. and then you add a few drop of sodium hydroxide okay and then you shake white precipitate is formed and then you add the sodium hydroxide solution until excess and then you shake okay so the white precipitate Dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide zinc nitrate containing zinc ion pour into the test tube about 2 cm cube and then add <coughs> ammonia solution a few drop only okay so white precipitate is formed and then after that you add until excess ammonia okay and then you shake okay the white precipitate dissolve in excess ammonia when you add a few drop of sodium hydroxide and ammonia into the zinc ion white precipitate is formed and then when you add anti excess both reagent white precipitate dissolve in excess to form colorless solution okay pour to about 2 cm cube of iron 2 chloride into the test tube and then Add a few drops of sodium hydroxide. Okay. Green precipitate is formed. And then you add sodium hydroxide until excess. What happened to the green precipitate? And then you shake. So still have green precipitate so the conclusion is green precipitate not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide using ammonia so same okay iron to chloride pour into the test tube and then add a few drop of ammonia green precipitate is formed okay and then you add ammonia until excess and then shake still have 
green precipitate. So the conclusion is iron to ion <coughs> when add ammonia until excess, the green precipitate not dissolve in excess ammonia. Cat ion iron three ions. Okay. Pour into the different test tube. Okay, about two cm cube. Okay, and then you add a few drop of sodium hydroxide. Shake. The observation is brown precipitate is formed, and then you add sodium hydroxide until excess. So the result is still have brown precipitate. So the conclusion is brown precipitate not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. So confirm iron 3 ion exists in the solution. Okay. For second test tube, add another reagent that is ammonia. And then add a few drops of ammonia into the test tube. Okay. See the result is still have the brown precipitate is formed. And then add excess ammonia. Okay. Brown precipitate not dissolve in excess ammonia. Salt. Okay. Let to nitric salt contain electro ion. Okay, pour into the diff, different test tube. Okay, one test tube. We add so, a few drops of sodium hydroxide. Okay. White precipitate is formed. And then we add until excess sodium hydroxide. Okay. So the white precipitate dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide to form colorless solution. can add more so the right side to make sure all the white precipitate dissolve in excess okay, okay. another test tube still have lead to ion <coughs> we add ammonia a few drop only okay. so the white precipitate is formed and then we add ammonia solution until excess. Okay. So the conclusion is white precipitate not dissolve in excess ammonia. When in copper to ion, pour into the test tube about 2 cm cube and then Add sodium hydroxide, a few drop only, and then shake. Okay, blue precipitate is formed, okay. and then you add excess sodium hydroxide. Okay, and then you shake. See the white, the yellow. Okay, <laughs> the blue precipitate still have so that means the blue precipitate not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. Ion, K ion, near berwarna biru, but blue solution. The blue solution <coughs> is copper to ion because 
ekor kutu ayam memberikan warna biru. Okay. And then another reagent, you add a few drop of ammonia in the test, test tube. Okay. And then shake. See the blue precipitate is formed when you add a few drop ammonia. And then add excess ammonia. Okay. And then you shake. See the blue precipitate dissolve in excess ammonia to form dark blue solution. Gunakan sodium dioxide dan juga ammonia. Okay, di sebelah kanan cikgu. Okay, kokotu ion you add sodium dioxide until excess blue precipitate still have not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. And then, when you add ammonia, okay, asalnya blue precipitate, when you add a few drops of ammonia, after you add until excess ammonia, blue precipitate dissolve in excess ammonia to form dark blue solution. Ayo, ammonia. So, ammonia and nitrate pour into the Test you about two cm cube, and then you add sodium hydroxide. No changes. So when no changes or no precipitate, you need to heat the mixture. And then you heat the mixture, and then the gas, the bubble gas have, see, and then the gas you need to test using moist red litmus paper. See the gas? Okay. The gas can change moist red litmus paper blue. Moist red limus paper turn blue. Okay. Alright. Ammonium ion pour into the ammonium ion of the solution. Pour into the test tube and then add ammonia aqueous. Shake and then heat. Red leaves paper, moist red leaves paper turn blue.